So today we're going to be making uh, French bread and what I have in my bowl right now is three cups of flour. I used unbleached flour and then we have one and a half tablespoons of instant yeast. I buy mine in bulk, um, usually at a local um, Amish store. I went to Shipshawana and gotten it before. Um, but it would be equivalent to one and a half tablespoons of yeast in with the flour and then two and one fourth teaspoon of salt. And I use, um, I use, a, it's called, can't really say it, but it's called um, Himalayan salt. It looks pink. So that's the salt that I'm using. And then we just um, are mixing it together. And then next we are going to put in some warm, very warm water. About It's a half a cup of warm water that goes in to this. This typically will make about four loaves. Um, I've done, it's like three to four loaves, depending on how big the loaves you make. So I'm going to add the water, then the oil, sugar, and then we're gonna gradually add the rest of the flour, which is three cups of flour. So, here we go. Next, we're going to be putting in our dough hook in attachment, and I'm using a KitchenAid. And I misspoke before, it's actually uh, two cups of water, but I'll post the, the recipe with it. And we just are going to knead the dough with this dough hook for about five minutes. So I've kneaded with the knead hook um, my bread and um, and you want to make sure when you touch it, it sort of springs back. That means it's ready and then you don't want to knead it anymore because then you'll end up with really hard and dense bread and you don't want that. So if you found that you've ever made bread and it, it, it has this hard consistency when you're your bait when you baked it that would be one of the reasons is because you needed it too much um, one of the reasons so this is French bread and we will be dividing it into I'll divide mine into three loaves and then we're gonna let that rise in an oiled um, dish for about 30 minutes and I've already preheated my oven to 425 and we'll when we put the bread in the oven at 425 we only do that for 10 minutes and then we reduce the temperature so but our next step right now is to divide the loaves and let it rise for 30 minutes So we, it's been 30 minutes and we let the dough rise. Um, it's about twice, double the size it was. And I put it right in the dish. And the dish that I rose in is what I let rise in is what we're going to put in the oven. So I have my oven at 425, like I said, and um, it'll go in there for 10 minutes at 425. And then we'll reduce, after 10 minutes, we'll reduce the heat to 
I believe, I always double check, 375 for 20 more minutes. So we have three loaves here again. I did three. You can get four out of it if you want. And you can also put slashes, like real French bread. I Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's up to you. Then you can put an egg wash on it if you want. I am not going to do that at this time, but that's another option you could do. So I'm going to put in our oven at for about 10 minutes and then reduce the heat. So I just took it out of the oven um, after that final 20 minutes. And I'm just taking a little bit of, you know, butter and just going over the tops. Um, you can brush it on, you can do any of that. But, um, so I've got three loaves of French bread. So here's one of the loaves from French bread and it smells fabulous so i use a bread knife when i cut into my bread so um it's rather warm still but as you can see let me move the camera down so you can see so you can see, it's just steaming, it's amazing, and it, it's soft. It's crusty on the outside, which is what you want, but it's soft on the inside. Um, we, tonight, my husband's uh, deep frying a turkey, so I made this bread for that. And But it's fantastic for any meal, to add to any meal. And you get three loaves, and if you can keep your kids out of it long enough, it does last for um a couple weeks before you know it starts molding but you probably won't get to the molding stage because it's so good you'll want to eat it all up or your kids will so there you have it i will post the the recipe with the in the in the video description and um i hope you get to bake your own bye